Good afternoon, sir. Can you tell us your name and spell your last name for the record? Good afternoon, sir. My name is Tommy Robbins, T-O-M-M-Y, last name R-O-B-I-N-S. Your witness, Counselor. How are you currently employed? I am a senior deputy with the Kern County Sheriff's Office. And how long have you worked for the Kern County Sheriff Department? Almost 15 years. What was your assignment back in August of 2014? I was assigned to the robbery homicide unit. Did you receive a call out to respond to 1582 Goodrick Drive in Tehachapi? Yes, sir. Is that location in Kern County? Yes, sir. Did you receive that call out on August 17th of 2014? Sounds about right. Now, when you arrived on scene, did you uh, do any witness interviews? I believe I did a, a couple. Did you recall uh, the names of the individuals you spoke with? Uh, one was, uh, I believe the last name was Galindo, and I don't recall the second. Okay. Uh, were they both employees at BNSF? I believe so. Now, moving on to November 18th, 2014, uh, did you respond to 27250 Strawberry Lane? Yes, I did. Okay, why did you go to that location? To execute a search warrant. Do you recall who was with you? Uh, Detective Victor Garcia, Detective Mitch Adams, Sergeant Gary Williams, uh, Evidence Technician Brenna Wolomey, and evidence technician Kim Cook. And who did that residence belong to? Uh, the defendant. When you say the defendant, that's Sabrina Lamone? Yes, sir. Now, when you were in the residence, 27250, um, did you have photographs taken of the home? Yes. Okay. Did you also um, have or direct some items to be seized? Yes. Okay. You yourself or other people that worked with you there? Both. Okay. Uh, what items did you have seized from Ms. Lamone's home? Uh, there was uh, several financial documents a computer, uh, a couple of backpacks. Uh, I believe there was a couple of other items, uh, a couple cell phones. Okay. Your Honor, if I may approach, have an item marked. Yes. Yes, I do. Just for the identifiers, is there information um, contained within the envelope that kind of shows that you're the one that sees the item? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, just if we could step through, what do you do when you seize an item and then ultimately book it into property? The item is uh, packaged uh, and uh, sealed with some sort of evidence tape. Uh, initials are often uh, written along the evidence tape, the uh, initials of the either seizing or booking officer along with uh, the date. Now, is there an identifier that uh, denotes you're the one that booked it into evidence? 
like a number, anything like that? Oh, there's both a, an evidence item number and my name also. Okay. What is the evidence item number that's on People's 24? T is in Tom, R is in Robert, 104. Okay. And that item is a cellular phone? Yes, sir. Okay. TR104, where was that seized from? Uh, if I may refer to my report to refresh my memory. If that would refresh your recollection with the court's permission. Go ahead. Thank you. One zero four was seized from the uh, top uh, drawer of the dresser in the master bedroom. To start with the bag, do you recognize the bag? I do. Okay. Uh, just generically, what are the contents of the bag? Various financial documents. Okay. Uh, are these items that you yourself seized from Ms. Lamone's residence uh, November 18, 2014? Yes. Okay. Are you the one that uh, seized those items, put it into the bag? I believe so. Okay. Now, Previous item was TR-104. What is the identifier as to the bag you currently have in front of you? Uh, this bag contains TR-105 and TR-106. Okay. What is TR-105? Uh, Vanguard and BNSF uh, financial documents. Okay. If you could remove TR-105 from the bag now, please. I may have a pair of gloves, please. I don't believe uh, there's any biologics in there, Deputy Robbins, but if you want some gloves, we can round some up. If, if it's... Mr. Smith? I, I think it'll be all right if he does it without gloves. Mr. Smith said it'd be all right. Go ahead, Mr. Robbins. Mr. Smith, how do you wish to proceed on marking those? Oh, Your Honor, I'm going to request that he separate them first prior to, um, and then I'm, I'm, I'm I will have them stapled. Anticipating my clerk's anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so, go ahead, sir. A detective, you could separate TR-105 from TR-106, please.
in either TR-105, TR-106, is there any uh, life insurance paperwork that you can provide? Uh, yes, uh, TR-106 uh, contains uh, New York life uh, documents. Your Honor, if I may approach. Please. People's 25 appears to be a uh, life insurance statement for Robert Mendoza Limon Jr. Uh, listed as the insured with a policy number of 2361-0352. Does it show a payout amount in reference to that policy you've just provided? Yes, $300,000. Does it show a policy date? Yes, October uh, 27th, 2014. Proceed, Mr. Smith. You also referenced paperwork from Vanguard or BNSF? Yes, sir. Okay. And that was uh, TR-106? Uh, no, the Vanguard and BNSF paperwork was TR-105. Okay. If you could uh, separate those items so I can have those items marked, please. Just the Vanguard? Yes. Document, okay.
Well, the Vanguard and the BNSF paperwork, where did you find that at within her residence? I did not actually locate that. Who provided it to you? Sergeant Gary Williams. Okay. And were you also uh, provided a cellular phone while you were at the residence? Yes. Okay. Who provided you a cellular phone? Deputy uh, Mountjoy. Can you describe the phone that he provided you? I remember it was an iPhone. Uh, that's all that I remember off the top of my head. The phone marked as TR-107, what did you do with it? Uh, booked it into the property room.
recognize the location of those photographs? Yes. Okay. Where were those photographs taken at? At 27250 Strawberry Lane in Hallandale. Okay. Now, did you yourself take the photos? No. Okay. Are the photographs an accurate representation of what you observed at Ms. Lamone's home November 18, 2014? Yes, sir. Any objection? Submitted. It'll be admitted. Proceed, Council. Starting on page one of people's 27. Can you just describe the photograph, please? Uh, that is a photograph of the front side of the residence, uh, 27250 Strawberry Lane. Page two. That is a uh, notebook that contained various financial documents. Uh, what was the item number of that notebook? Uh, again, if I may refer uh, back to my report. Uh, that would re refresh your recollection with the court's permission. Sure. Thank you. It was TR100. Page three. That's a photograph of a computer that was uh, seized from the residence. Page four. I believe that is a, a drawer uh, from the, the residence. Again, also a, a drawer from the bedroom. That's page five. Page six. It's an overall photograph of the master bedroom. Page seven. Another overall photograph of the master bedroom just taken at a slightly different angle. On the bottom left of that photograph, that's where the computer was that you see. Yes, sir. Page seven. That's another overall photograph taken from the opposite direction of the master bedroom. And the last page, page eight. That is a photograph of the closet in the master bedroom at the residence. I ask you specifically about page two. Uh, you said those items are TR0, TR100, TR101. Uh, just TR100. I think that is just TR100. Provide you with yet another bag uh, containing financial documents. You can open it, please. TR100.
Yes. appears to be a statement regarding a annuity for a child. It is addressed to Sabrina Lamone for Robert Lamone. Does it give a specific name or just a child? Can you give me a second to read through the entire document. Looks like it's multiple statements uh, with two different names on it. One being Leanna Lamone, the other being Robert Lamone. And those papers, Equals 28, also has the name Sabrina Lamone as well? Yes, sir. And return TR100. Your Honor, I would request Equals 28, which is financial documents from TR100, uh, be moved into evidence at this time. Ms. Terry, as to 28, any objection? I'm not sure of the proper foundation of the late Your Honor, at this point, as to the significance of the records. That they were seized, I guess I would spell. But relevance, I'm not sure. Well, the fact that they were seized. Um, Mr. Smith? Your Honor, it shows an, uh, an award of an annuity under the Railroad Retirement Act. We had Mr. Flatman testify earlier today that there's survivor, survivor benefits. So it's paperwork relating to his earlier testimony that was in her possession. Those were seeds. Uh, yes. Okay. That'll be admitted. Mr. Smith, on the break, we were able to find you some gloves. Uh, yes, sir. There was a cell phone uh, that you. Uh, moved into evidence if it's still within a bag within the item that was marked correct yes okay if you could uh, put the gloves on open up the ziploc bag and remove the phone from its uh, container and then replace it back into the bag
Thank you. Uh, also, you referenced TR101 prior to the break. Um, did you also observe a envelope containing uh, additional life insurance information? Yes, sir. Okay. If I may approach, Your Honor. The first item is uh, an explanation of uh, benefits uh, from New York Life Insurance Company. It appears to be addressed to a Leon boot. Uh, the next item. Next item is a receipt from Wells Fargo Bank uh, dated October 30th, 2014. It lists a current balance of $27,399.99. Next item. Next item is another Wells Fargo bank receipt uh, dated October 30th, 2014, showing a current balance of $20,064.69. Next item is a, another Wells Fargo bank receipt I'm not seeing a date on it. Uh, it's also dated October 30th, 2014. Uh, it shows a deposit amount of $300,591.70. Next item is a Wells Fargo bank receipt dated October 30th, 2014. It shows a current balance of $307,000, I'm sorry, $307,991.77. The last item is a Wells Fargo bank receipt dated October 30th, 2014 showing a $20,000 deposit. It took two to line it up, counsel, correct? It did. Oh. Jackson's noted over. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, nothing further. Mr. Terry Cross. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Um, good, 
Good afternoon, Deputy Robbins. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, the search that you conducted of Ms. Lamone's residence, what day was that? I believe it was November 18th, 2014. And uh, you went in and you seized certain items, including a, a laptop computer, is that right? I believe it was a desktop computer. A desktop computer? Yes, sir. Okay. That was one of the items you seized um, along with uh, financial documents, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And you mentioned and referenced uh, some items such as from Vanguard, is that right? Yes, sir. And is the Vanguard document still up there with you? Yes, sir. And if I could see those, please. That's it. Thank you. Were they all loose like this when you found them, or were they all in a, a folder such as this? I don't remember. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Um, if I could, Your Honor, I'd like to have all these documents marked as defense exhibits. Any objection to that, Mr. Smith? in India. Now, um, right now the top document is a, a folder from Vanguard, is that right? I don't know if it's a folder or a booklet, but yes, okay. similar to. Okay. And uh, attached to that, clip to that, are uh, a number of documents also from Vanguard? Yes, sir. And also from BNSF? Yes, sir. Yes, it appears to be another separate booklet within it. And that's the item that uh, you see as it was marked as TR-105 and booked into evidence, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. At the top of that booklet, on the top of it, is there something written on top? Yes, sir. What's written on top? It's a heart shape. Rob Lamone, another heart. I miss you. And that was how you found it when you obtained the document uh, and seized those documents, is that right? Yes, sir. Thank you. documents you found, those were all uh, ones that you also found on November 18th, 2014, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And a lot of those documents are uh, dated uh, late October that uh, they were uh, at least indicated on that, those documents themselves, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. And there appears to have been, uh, you, you mentioned that the policy, the life insurance policy was obtained or was dated October 27th of 2014, is that right? I believe that's the statement date. Okay, that's what I want to make sure of. It wasn't the policy, that was when the policy was obtained. Is that right? That's not what appeared to me. It appeared to me that the date lit, uh, printed on the statement was the printed date. Okay. Let me ask you this. Did you find the actual physical policy itself uh, not to my recollection. You indicated you uh, located uh, some cell phones when you conducted the search of a resident. 
I did not locate the cell phones. Another detective did. I seized them. You seized them? Yes, sir. Okay. How many cell phones did you seize at Ms. Lamont's residence? Total of three, including the cell phone that was provided to me by uh, Deputy Mountjoy. Okay, so there were two at her residence that you seized, and then there was the one that was provided to you by Deputy Mountjoy? Yes, sir. And that was the iPhone? Yes, sir. Was Ms. Lamone at the residence uh, when you did the search? No. Was she brought to the residence when you did the search? Not to my knowledge. With regards to those cell phones that were uh, found at the residence, um, was it ever determined whose cell phones those were? I don't know. I'm not the uh, lead detective. I wouldn't have that knowledge. Yes, sir. Okay. There was no subsequent search that you did of Ms. Lamone's residence after November 18th, 2014? Not that I conducted, no. Okay, thank you. I have nothing further at this time. Mr. Smith. Nothing further. Just step down a second, thank you. Yes, sir.